What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out another new feature for Profile Builder and Profile Builder 4, the ability to quickly trim assemblies. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I'll link to my video talking through all of the new features in Profile Builder 4 in the notes down below. If you do wanna check that out, you can do it at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash Profile Builder. Note that is an affiliate link, meaning I do receive a commission if you purchase through that link. But in this case, let's take a look at this railing assembly. And what I've done is I've taken this railing assembly, and by the way, this is the Modern House on a Hill from Here's the HH, if you wanna download it and follow along from the 3D Warehouse. But notice how what I've done is I've just come in here and I've just clicked around the outside in order to add this railing. Now, the problem with that is that this railing is obviously not going to go across the stairs like this. Luckily, there's a tool in Profile Builder that we can use in order to fix this called the Extend or Split Profile Members, and now it works with assemblies. And so in this case, notice how I can mouse over and make sure that you haven't selected a profile member, but you can mouse over an assembly right here to click on it and you can split this object. Now the problem is right now, if I click again, what it's gonna do is it's going to completely trim the object, which is not what you want. But notice how when you click in order to set a point, there's an option down at the bottom page for control equals toggle split. And so if I tap control, notice what that's gonna do is that's going to continue the assembly right here. And I can kind of mouse over a point in order to inference to it. And what that does is that splits this assembly right here. Well then, I can do the same thing, and in this case, I wanna untap that control because I want to trim this from this point. So I can click on the end, move my mouse over like this, and click again, and it's going to trim that assembly. So we could do the same thing here. So tap control in order to add a split, and we'll add that split right here. And then for this one, we'll just click, we'll tap control, in order to go into trim mode, and we'll trim this right here, like this. So notice how you can use this to trim these assemblies so that they fit along a certain length. Now, one cool thing about this trim function is if you have a closed shape, like this one, this will actually allow you to add a gap. So if I click in here and activate this and then click on it, first off, I'm gonna set a point Right, so you move your mouse in order to find the point, but then you can actually type in a value. So say I wanted a six foot gap, I can just type in six feet, hit okay, and that's gonna generate a six foot gap in your object, like this. Now, note that this only works once, after which you go back into that trim or split mode. So like now, if I click, it's not gonna give me a gap anymore, it's just gonna allow me to trim or split my assemblies, but when you first have that closed in shape, you can use this to add a gap where that shape is. Now it's important to remember that this also works with profiles. So for example, say that I wanted to put base around the corner in this building like this, what I could do is I could come in here and I could use that trim function. So I'm just gonna click right here and we're just going to click on it, tap control and then split it. We're gonna split it based on this point, and then we're gonna trim it back using this trim tool over here. So you can use this to trim across openings um, in things like walls if you're working with um, openings like this door. All right, so I'll link to my full list of the top new features in Profile Builder 4 on this page, as well as a link to the extension if you do wanna try it out. If you do have a cool way that you're using Profile Builder, leave a comment down below. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.